Hello, Bona Sera. It is 10.01 p.m., uh, Saturday, October 30th, day before Halloween. Halloween is in one hour and 59 minutes here on the East Coast. Uh, I was quite busy today, so I'm getting a later start than usual. This is going to be a very brief stream, a very quiet stream, because uh, I just wanted to do a little bit of work and I might as well stream it. That's really all there is to it. I don't have a whole lot going on in my brain or on my agenda today so that's that uh where were we <clears throat> i think the last time i streamed i was doing uh, a really complex command for designating where you're supposed to be able to put outputs for this bot that i'm working on and we finally figured it out that was the very 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 last thing that i did this gigantic nasty chained command writes the api for that because discord loves to do that kind of thing so i think that's done i think this is done which means that we're closing in on all of our commands being migrated to the new good practice way of doing things i think let's see from the top we've done config i have to do emotes I have to do flush I've done help Output we've done, prefix doesn't exist anymore, remote won't exist anymore, uh, role we've done, what is this, uh, this is like a admin command for just me, might not need to migrate it, it just lists what servers the bot's on and if it's active, I might migrate it because it's a thing I can do. Hey Bon, uh, you've also been busy today, thanks for stopping by, I appreciate it. <clears throat> Uh, let's see, so start, kind of important, uh, status will be done, stop, kind of important, streamer we've done, timestamp, kind of important, uh, user is also kind of important, so a lot of the, a lot of the actual core stuff of this bot there is left to do. That's okay. Uh, let's just go in order, I guess. Next command, let's go. Emote. And JS. I'm lamenting the thought of having to migrate these all over to my, or migrate the unit tests over, I should say. That's not going to be fun at all. I wrote a whole big giant unit test class for testing all of my commands and uh, 
having it test the new expectations for these new type of commands are not going to be fun, I don't think. I keep saying I'll do that off stream, but I don't know when I'm actually going to find the time to do that. Because I've been very busy this week, and I'm anticipating that I will continue to be very busy for all foreseeable weeks. Alright, let's go. We start with this. Actually... Is there any merit to actually copying this? Let's, we'll, we'll copy the command here. I set up this whole big system so that I could alias commands because I wanted to do that. And there's no actual merit to doing so because the commands are easier to... They, they autofill, rather. So there's no reason to have shorthand for it because you just have to type slash E and it'll be like, you probably meant emote, yes? And the answer is yes, of course I did. So there's no need for that. Uh, let's see. Our help tips. Like so. <clears throat> easy, easy. And then I actually gotta, you know, do the content. Get rid of that shit. <laughs> and this is gonna be called emote command. This command. What do we have here? I bet a lot of this can be copied wholesale, actually. So over here, we have our config key. Copy that. <clears throat> I guess I should also talk about what I was busy with today. Uh, we had a bunch of friends come over in a kind of serendipitous situation. We had one that had been planning to come over for quite a few days. Uh, I think most of the month. And then another one happened to be in the area due to a uh, powder outage at the place where they, they traditionally live. So they were in the neighborhood because they had no power or heat in their home. And they so happened to want to stop by, which was cool. And so it all works out. And we had a giant uh, dinner of hot pot, which was fun. We also got to make okonomiyaki. I'll probably put photos on Twitter of that okonomiyaki because it was really freaking good. Uh, uncharacteristically good, I would dare say. I haven't had Okonomiyaki that good. S yeah, the good stuff, exactly. I haven't had Okonomiyaki that good since college. At all. Like, I've had trouble making it a lot at home. I could never get it to congeal. I'm very bad at getting the consistency to uh, take, I guess. Alright, so the operations here add remove. Oh, this is the same shit as when I was trying to do, uh, where is it, the uh, output command where I have like a add or a remove. That's kind of annoying. All right, all right, all right. So, how did we do that for outputs? Because I have with the add type command, you need two parameters that are both required. For the, so this is chat add. Oh, actually, no. This, this is fine. This is normal. This is going to be dot add sub command add, and it's going to look like this. <clears throat> This is ordinarily in the stream where I'd be like, oh, what has everybody else been up to? But Bon, I know what you've been up to, because you did all the same stuff that I was just talking about just now. Uh, and I do not anticipate that you have anything different. So I guess, Dead Buddha, if you want to uh, regale us with the whole rundown of today's events, go for it. If you feel so inclined. Or don't. It's also fine. What is the order for this normally? I've already forgotten. Add number. Cool. Add integer option.
Mostly Halloween stuff and chilling. Chilling can be a Halloween thing. I keep forgetting that it's like I started the stream by saying it's Halloween in like two hours, but it doesn't feel real. It really did sneak up on me, which is maybe the scariest thing possible. Maybe that makes this the scariest Halloween. This is uh, int. Platform emote, and then we're gonna do platform emote dot. Oh wait, no, that's not how these work. That's not how. That's not how these work. Ninety percent of my streams for trying to migrate this shit is has just been me looking at old code and trying to remember how it works. Uh, emote number dots. It's like all copy paste. I have a few places to go, but might just stay and chill and work on photos and stream stuff. Always a good plan. I don't want to go anywhere tomorrow either. I'm hoping that we actually get like one or two children to come by so I can uh, scare the living daylights out of them and give them a novelty sized candy bar. As is tradition, you know? <clears throat> so this would be. Number What did I I described this as? Uh platform. Bon, are you hoping we get kids tomorrow for Halloween? Not like that we acquire them permanently, of course. That's a whole different discussion that I wouldn't be having on stream. But uh, are you looking forward to potentially having a trick and or treater? Because I think that would be fun, personally. I would like trick or treaters, yeah. We've not really had the ability to uh, get them before, so. Uh, now, this is like mentionable. I don't think that's, I don't think there's a way to do that. Because um, a mentionable could be like a role or a channel, but I don't think an emote qualifies as a mentionable. Everyone always loves it. I mean, you're not wrong. Can I specify that this has to be a server emote? There's probably no way they let me do that. Emote dot. What are my options? Hmm. I guess not. I just want this to be... Has to be an emote. But I guess there's no real way to specify that. I guess this is just a string. Add a string. String option. Uh, we do emote becomes emote set aim emote set description the discord to replace platform emote yeah. in messages this was a whole big breakthrough when i got this feature working the first time uh being able to get these god-awful numerically encoded platform emoji transpiled into stuff that Discord could actually uh, process. And now I'm writing again. The Goth Club. Ooh, spooky. That's too spooky for this guy. I could never. 
Alright. Oh, and then I got the... That's not the end of this. Uh, we have to do... There's more. But wait. Stop. Add sub-command. Remove. Add integer. I think that works. I think that's okay. Goth alternative, etc. Hard to name it. Uh, they're rare now, sadly. I mean, I've never heard of them at all before, so you got me there. Uh, let's see. So operation is. Uh, interaction dot get sub command dot get no what is it it's um options dot sub command get sub command yeah oh and I need to specify if these things are required I forgot to do that I am Bad at writing API. Uh, both of these are required. Set required. True. Honestly, who writes an API that has optional parameters? If it's important enough to be in the API, it should just be required. Honestly, who does that? Uh, do, 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 do. Set required. True. Wait. That's right, I don't need brackets. I'm crazy. There we go. Uh, required true. Required true. And again, I don't need brackets for that. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that compiles. Hey, Pooba, thank you for stopping by at this incredibly late hour that I got started with. You missed me recounting why I was late. But basically, I had dinner plans with uh, people I haven't seen in variable amounts of time. I don't know if I will be late for tomorrow's uh, Everblue stream as well, but I do plan on trying to get more of that game in as well. And just generally speaking, this week I've been very busy with uh, non-stream stuff uh, that I will hopefully be able to share soon, because I would like to be done with it soon. <laughs> but I can't talk about it or show about it right now. It's not that exciting, but uh, it's not at my liberty to discuss. I really, really want to be done with it, though, because it would be nice to have free time again. But it's voluntary. Mister it's a, I'm, I'm overhyping it. It's just like a, a neat little project thing. But uh, I don't want to talk about it on air because it is not my project to lead and it's not my discretion to talk about that kind of thing. Um, what am I doing here? So we have our subcommand and our platform emote would then be uh, interaction.options. Get integer number. There we go. Discord emote would be interaction dot get string get dot options dot get string emote. Uh, I think that works. Operation dot. Do I have to do like name around these or anything? Nope. Okay. I think that's all I need to do. Oh, wait. I don't need this and args length is greater than two because that's a given. Uh, and then instead of these returns, we do this fun little trick. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, I didn't say there won't be ever new. I didn't say there won't be ever blue. I said I don't know what time I'll start ever blue tomorrow. Even if I have to like start at midnight, I'm gonna try and stream it for like an hour because I really want to play more of that game very badly. But right now there are plans being made that I am not uh I'm not in control of my own fate tomorrow. So I don't know if I'll be home in time to do my usual 8:30 start. I would love to be, but I don't know that I will. So no promises yet. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I'm excited. We're finally going to go down the Nightmare Hallway in the, the Luxury Liner and progress the plot. I did, I think, everything else I could possibly do last time. 
so, you know, get excited about that. Uh, let's see. So this is not return. This is going to be return await interaction dot reply. I think it's just like content. Someday I'll make these good, but for now, I won't. It's going to give the least helpful error message literally ever programmed. Where it literally just returns the middle finger emoji. If you mess up, and it won't explain why. That might be a to-do in a little bit. Again, an off-stream kind of thing. I'm starting to think that danger is impossible inside the dungeons of the game. I don't know about that, because on the first... The very first one, the ferry, uh, you can get stung by lionfish. And I got bitten by a moray eel in the cockpit, which like didn't chase me or anything. It was just like sitting by a chair, but it did bite me. So you could, if you just sat there and let the moray eel bite you to death, you could die, I think. So I don't, I would not rule out that danger is an impossibility. Also remember that the gray white sharks in this game are very small for some reason. So, I think it's possible. But well, only one way to find out, as they say. Uh, I think this is all set. Uh, let me see if that works. Let me add this to my list of slash commands. Emote command. App config. And I will pull up my terminal. Trusty, trusty terminal. We will see when we see. Yeah. Uh, let's see. This is, what is it? NPM run. Once again, because I do this only once a week, I can never remember my own commands. Register local. That's the one. Hated it. Expected to receive a slash command. Subcommand builder got undefined instead. Interesting. Why? And which one? Emote command, that makes sense, the one that we just built. So expected to get a slash command builder. Uh, sub command builder. Or got null instead. It's because I don't need these brackets, I think. I think. I put brackets where they don't belong. Maybe. Try again. Oh. Expect a name to be of type string, but received undefined. Okay. Wait. Uh, I need to do... Set name. I think it's like that. Um, uh, set description. Given emote. Server config. Alright. Cool, needed to do that. Uh, and then over here, you add. <clears throat> oh, I'm also like hiding my. I forgot to give my subcommands names, which is bad because you need to give them that. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Let's see, so remove the given platform mode. This one is going to be uh, add a uh, platform emote. You be uh, add, or rather, no, no. This is add a placement rule. No, not replacement. What did I say? I've already written help text for all this stuff. Uh, I should just copy this. This should be the description. It should be this. This, this, this. What would be really cool is if I could think of a way, and I can't off the top of my head, to have these use cases, their help tips here, be the... Uh, Actually, maybe there's a way to do that down the line. Have the help tips here automatically be set as the descriptions for the 
uh, slash commands. Artifact, you guys ever... I played Artifact 1, and I did not play Artifact 2. That was a PC game. That was a very, very, very shortly lived PC game that uh, Dead Buddha is talking about. It was a card game by Valve, and it was set in the Dota universe. And it did not survive very long because it had like a worst of both worlds kind of monetization strategy where you had to both pay to play the game and then you had to pay to buy cards in it. Yeah, it's a card game. It was a card game. Past tense. This game does not live anymore. It is dead. Uh, I liked it. I thought it was fun but it had a really nasty monetization plan that made it very difficult for people to get into. In my opinion. I, I'm dying to know why you're thinking about Artifact right now, though. I can't even imagine. Awesome. Uh, NPM. Start. Uh, terminal. Let me make my terminal like a little bit smaller. Yes, it is dead. I, are you just thinking about it because it's like spooky? Like Halloween? That's the only way that makes any sense to me. Alright. Uh, so I should have just added the emote command. Emote add or emote remove. So let's emote add uh, 13. And the emote's going to be my new skeleton woke emote. Oh, wait. Huh? Number 13, emote, uh, can I do that? His emote is not defined. Uh-oh. It was like Hearthstone. Kind of. Um, I like, uh, I, I've not played a lot of Hearthstone, but yeah, it's, I mean, similar concept. Where you just have a deck and you fight somebody else who has a deck and you try and do your strategy at them while they try and do their strategy. Uh, it, Artifact was neat in that you had like three boards going at the same time, kind of, to emulate the, th the three lanes of Dota type games. So you'd have like stuff going on in the first board, second board, and third board. And sometimes you could have cross board effects and they would always resolve in that order. The goal was to hit the enemy ancient, which you would do by the enemy having no cards left to block it, kind of attacking one's life points directly. It had like a whole itemization thing where you could equip your cards with items, much like how Dota works. It was like a whole thing. Where is Izumo supposed to be coming from? Okay, yeah. Did I not? Oh, right, because this... Okay, so Izumo is defined, but the path to it has changed because my commands are in a different place now. Uh, or, no, I didn't actually copy it. Uh, that's... We need all of this shit. I don't think this resolves anymore. Does it? Oh, it does. Sick. Uh, command. It's become slash command. And then we also need this thing. Uh, yeah, that's right. Uh, I don't like Dota very much. Yeah, I wouldn't really recommend people, like, try and get into Dota, because it's a very player-hostile game. I like it a lot, but only because I've been playing it for, like, a decade and a half now. So it's second nature to me, and it's very much ingrained in my brain, and I can think in that kind of way. And I am past the point where I get mad about, like, losing or having shitty teammates. That are like when I say shitty teammates, I don't mean like players who are bad at the game, though that can be frustrating too. I mean like people who are bad people, which is a lot. A surprisingly large number of MOBA players are just also genuinely unpleasant people, and I don't like to be negative too much about other people. But you really do meet some strange, troubled individuals online in that kind of game where they will they will say terrible things to you. Uh, so. I am very good at letting that kind of just flow over me at this point. It doesn't make me mad anymore. It kind of just makes me sad for these people who are making themselves miserable. But I find it a, a strategy game like no other. It's beyond compare. There's nothing else quite like it in the world. And that is what I like about it. And I just added a new hero recently who's from the anime, the Dota anime, which is fun. It's like a fun inversion of how a lot of Dota's original heroes 
are references to anime. Like, we have, like, Lena the Slayer, who is fr Lena from Slayers. Uh, now Dota has an anime, and it has a hero from its anime. So it's all full circle. Let's do emote add 13. And this will be skeleton. Well, it's doing something. The interaction failed. Ah. Fatal error in the terminal. Let's find out why. They're going back to the roots. Yeah, like, it's it's really interesting. So much of early Dota stuff. Uh, slash command is not a constructor. That's where you're wrong, boss. Oh, that's where I'm wrong, boss. Wait, do I have a definition for help tip inside slash command? Wrong place to replace that. Shit, shit, shit. Uh, it's this one. Oh, uh, I wasn't showing my VS Code. The error this time was I had a bad import. I was not importing from the correct file, so it did not understand what new slash command meant. Uh, let me try again. Hopefully no fatal error this time. We will see, though. Emote. Add. 13. Stir.match is not a function. Heh? Alright. Well. Alright. That's something to work on. This is why unit tests are so important. Uh, Stir.match. It's not a function. Oh, uh. Terminal is not useful here. Where is it getting stirred on match from? Is that inside the get emote? Is emote function? It is. Is emote stir. stir. So stir must be undefined here, is what it's saying. Platform emote. Is. Options get integer number. Why is that coming back undefined? It's called number. It's required. But all I can think is platform emote here must be coming back undefined. Oh, you guys are having a discussion about MTG, is that right? I think? I have never played MTG because, uh,. As much as I love strategy games, it is pricey, as I think uh, somebody has... No, nobody's mentioned how expensive it is. It's an expensive hobby. Which, I mean, like, so is Gunpla and shit, but at least Gunpla, you don't need to constantly update. You build your model and it's good forever. Unlike uh, collectible card games like that, trading card games like that, where eventually cards get retired, or there's the new hotness, there's power creep, that kind of thing. Kind of like what we're seeing in the Pokemon card game right now. Where it's just like, original gen cards are either, I think, not even allowed tournament legal. But even if they were, they wouldn't be able to compete. Because the numbers are just so different these days. Alright, let's figure out what it thinks. Oh! Oh! I just realized why it's complaining. Because... I'm telling it that it has to be an integer. And previously... Okay, so there, there are two ways that... Mildum sends emotes out to, uh, or the, not two, not two ways that Mildum, Mildum sends out emotes that are formatted like this. I believe it's backslash, and you'd have like one zero zero one, and that would correspond to, I don't know, like happy face or something like that. Uh, so I had this originally set up so that you could type in either one thousand and one, or if you were just thinking like, oh, the emote is this. It would accept both of these. So it was expecting this as a string, and it was checking to see, to, to find the number on the inside here. But now that I just require a integer, I think I can do away with that. I think. And I can just 
comment that out and we don't need to do a substring. We don't need to validate if it's an emote anymore because it's always just going to be a number. And we, I guess, just make sure that it's a number, which is a harmless check to do. Oh, wait, no, but... I don't think you can do this. If it's a number, it's going to try and use it like an index. <laughs> yeah, actually, hold on, I can't do that. Um... Yeah, weirdly, I want to actually cast this back to a string. I think. Because then it can be used as an index. But you can still check if it's a number. So even though I'm saying that it has to be an integer, I'm casting it back to a string. Oh, that's kind of fucky. Yeah, I only want integers, but I need it to be a string so I can use it as a property name. Elsewhere. That's kind of weird, but it's fine. If I left it as a number, it would be using that as the numerical index. So it would get like the third property. Or the thousand in the first property in the example that I just showed. Uh, that's kind of weird. Let's try again. Yeehaw. Emote. Add. What happens if I do like that? And I do like laugh. It's just not going to let me, right? Input a valid integer. Don't mind if I do. Uh, 13. We do a skeleton book. And it likes that. So now if I do C, config. Yes. It has that. Uh, do, 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 do. Listen, it says it's listening to me. Let's put this to the test. Time to spam this with a bunch of emotes. Uh, do, 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 do. I've got my my own channel bookmarked, I'm pretty sure. There we go. This should pop off if it is truly listening to me. Maybe it's not. Maybe that part doesn't work. Uh, <laughs> um, hmm. It says it's listening listening true to me but it didn't just spam that I had entered the chat which it should if it was truly listening uh, so I'm not even sure that this will work let's see what happens if I do my emote that didn't come through right well that's a problem that's not good Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, that's bad. It should be spitting my chat messages to this channel. I think. Do I have errors in my terminal? Oh, it fatally, it fatally errored in my terminal. Ah, hold on. That's why. That's bad. Chat channel send is not a function. It should be. Huh. I wonder why. Um, what is the... Hold on. That's exciting. Uh, copy ID. Did, did the ID change for... Can it like not find the channel? Or did I mess up a Discord helper somehow? Right, so this is what it, the... Oh, that's still the same ID. So I've messed something up internally. It's saying that it uh, whatever it's getting back as the channel for the chat channel here is not something viable to post to, which I think is incorrect. But I mean, computers never lie. It's just us who's wrong. So, I must have broken some untested code. Fun, 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 fun. All right, start command. Chat channel uh, dot post. Where is it? 
chat channel equals discord helpers get channel info build id channels language all right i how did i break this what's changed here i don't think this has changed actually though if i look at this which is a problem because uh why would this suddenly break passing the guild channel identifier channel identifier get channel by id or get it by name if it's a number get it by the id otherwise get it by name this makes sense huh uh okay And we do have something for chat channel. Okay, so it doesn't think that chat channel is null, but it can't do chat channel dot send. But this is strongly typed as a text channel. There's nothing else it could be unless this is undefined, but then we wouldn't be in this loop. I need to do tried and true console.log chat channel. Only one way to solve this problem. All right. Show terminal. Apply VS Code. Time to make this break again. All right, it's died. What are we saying? Ooh, Andre Salt V. I think I'm saying that right. Subskelly, how you doing? How is everyone doing? Uh, I personally am doing all right. I am hitting a fatal exception with the code that I'm writing that I'm not sure what's all about, but that's what we're here to solve. Everybody else seems to be doing well. They're talking about MTG, I think. Uh, thank you for stopping by. Um, yeah, I typically do programming streams like this on Saturday. I started really late today at 10 o'clock instead of nine. I had a pretty good day otherwise though. What the hell is this doing? Okay. Wait. Let's type guild category? Huh? Did they change the API here somehow? Name text channels. Wait. Huh? What are you building? Uh, I am built. So I'm building a bot, or I have a bot that I've already built. Let me hide my terminal. Um, that is designed to integrate with a pretty niche Japanese streaming platform. Uh, the bot here is designed to grab messages from the streamer and relay them to Discord for an easier viewing experience, as well as messages from known chat, uh, like live translators, I guess is the, the term, and relay them to designated language channels so you can get live translation going on uh, for from Japanese to like English or Spanish or what have you. Uh, that's what this bot is meant to do. It also does go live alerts and things like that. It's been pretty useful so far. Ah, people are being friendly in chat. You love to, you truly love to see it. Yeah, thank you for stopping by. Please make yourself at home. Uh, I don't have any real other comforting words of advice or anything spooky to say. Halloween's in an hour and a half, hour and 15 minutes. I'm probably going to end my stream before we reach Halloween, but I will be streaming tomorrow on Halloween with some deep sea diving. So that's something to get excited about if you're interested in that. I will actually be playing a video game on twitch.tv. Ah, oh, snap. Oh, and I moved my thing. Thank you. Uh, Andre Salt TV, thank you so much for the follow. Thank you for your voluntary servitude into the skeleton army. There's an old saying that says, if it does not say, rest in peace on your tombstone, you are drafted into the skeleton war upon death. But you, sir, you've chosen to enlist. So you're saving some poor draftee. We appreciate it. We appreciate it immensely. I didn't realize I moved my little alert thing, though. That's a, a shame. Thank you very much. I strongly appreciate it. Your sub will notify you that uh, 
I go live on Saturdays and Sundays to do programming or play retro, air quotes, video games from like 2003 and earlier. And that's kind of the content you come to expect. You're a skeleton. In Halloween, do you dress up as what? A human? Yeah, you're going to see my cool new live 2D model tomorrow where I have skin. That's going to be the real horror. I'm just going to be a normal ass person. Just a, a fun little anime man on the internet where I have skin and eyeballs and a nose and a tongue and organs, all the lungs and heart, that kind of thing. That's my Halloween costume. Makeup can do wonders. Two things I love, programming retro games. Then you're in the right place, dude. You've come to the right channel. <clears throat> the right now is kind of hellish programming because I'm just mashing my head against a wall. Specifically, the stuff that I'm working on right now is I have to bring my bot, my Discord bot up to the latest, like, best practices for Discord's API. They want to change how commands work. They are no longer going to allow just any bot to read every chat message in a server because they think it's a privacy issue. So they have, like, a new API that are specific commands for bots that I have to make this migrate to. Right now, I'm playing Sam and Max at the Road. That is a great game. Uh, point and clicks are very, very good. Once I finish my current, like, retro game backlog, I plan to do Grim Fandango on stream at some point. My friend, uh, Ventagram recently just did a, like, single session let's play of that game for some sub milestone. And I thought to myself that this is really cool, and I should also play that game on stream. The best. Wait, is Bond going to dress up as a skeleton man? I don't know, Bond, can you comment? Do you have a Halloween costume planned for Halloween tomorrow? They're asking about you. The people want to know. Okay, why the fuck does this think that this is a uh, text channel? What have I done here? What's happening? Copy ID. I don't understand. Okay, so that's the text category, and then general where it should be posting is this one. Which are almost the same, but not quite. Halloween came too quickly. Grim Fandango is awesome. You're correct, it's a great game. I hold Manny Calavera in high regard as a skeleton to look up to. I'm stumped here, though, and I don't know that I have the brain power to actually solve this on stream, <laughs> which pisses me off, but uh, I'm very tired. So, okay, so we know we have an ID. So it's this one. Build channels cache. Find. I'm so confused by this. This tells me it's like a bug with my output command that we wrote last week. Because I think it must be storing something that is not considered acceptable. Or it's storing the wrong thing. Channel ID. The ID of the channel. Uh, da, 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 da. And then it stores that. It seems good. Yeah, channel, channel. Channel ID. And yet, when I go here, it's telling me that this is a type guild category category channel why this is not the ID no, that's the guild ID that's fine what is the ID of this thing though what does it think it's doing system channel ID is that wait I, I'm losing my mind here guild ca type guild category Build ID, ID. Okay, wait, yeah, so hold on. Why? Why is it doing this? So, okay, let me, I can. You could dress up as Tom. <laughs> yes, that's very easy to do. I dress like, I dress like my avatar every single day of the year. We don't have Halloween over here, so I never dressed up in the costume or went trick-or-treating. Must be nice. It's weird. It's a very strange tradition. I don't really know what the impetus behind it is. Dressing up as, like, a character is fun. But as I've grown older, I come to appreciate, like, conventions and places and times for that. 
It's a weird silly little tradition. I don't know where all in the world celebrates it, though, so it may be completely alien to talk about. I have, I have not been very worldly. Okay. But, uh, I can I can relay why I'm very confused right now. Alright. So, if we uh, go to our Discord here, we have it set to, say, uh, the English channel for printing stuff is this guy right here. It ends in 214, which is fine. We take that ID, and what we're supposed to be doing is, if I you know, go back to VS Code, we go through our helper function, we say, is this a guild? No. Or, is this a guild? Or is it? Uh, yes. Then we find the channel for where the ID is equal to, in this case, the channel ID. So we go through all of our channels and we find a match. And if we do, then we're all set. And I believe the alternative is by name, which does more or less the same thing. R.name is equal to equal to channel. That's fine. So we know in our con config right there, we have this thing ending in 1.4. Uh, and now I show this, and it's finding my thing here that has an ID of ends in 1.2, and this is the category. So it's not a text channel. It's correct. It can't print to this because it, it is a category called text channels. I don't understand why it's returning this and not this. I'm very confused. Something has changed, but I don't understand why. Guild. I'm, I'm lost. I'm confused. I don't understand why it's behaving this way. We have our guild. Guild ID and this has its ID, category text channels. What am I doing wrong here? I'm very confused. What is this channel for alert? Is that the JP one? Copy ID. Yes, okay. That's the JP channel. Oh, it did replace Kappa. Yeah, you're not allowed to talk about Kappas on Twitch.tv. They'll they'll uh, only make you look at the the gamer emoji. Anyway, I'm really conf I'm quite perplexed about what's going on here. What does it think? Okay, config output dot chat. Okay, so we have that. Then we try and get the language. We're gonna do we're gonna do another printout. Here. Time to watch the bot perish again as I send it another message. Whoa. And it's going to complain, but at least it'll have a log out now. I should get a, like a robust debugger. Which error is it giving? It's uh, it's confused because it's... So, I, I think I just tried to explain this, but I didn't do a very good job. It's getting... I'm telling it to print to a channel, right? And it's instead of getting this general channel to spit messages to, it's getting the category text channels here. And it's like, I can't send to that because that's not a text channel. It's just a category. And I don't understand why it's finding this category instead of the channel. This is not something I changed recently. So I don't quite see what the issue is, but here we are. So we go back to this. We get our whole big JSON object of the category. It is finding the right... It does understand that the ID it's trying to find is correct. That is the ID for the channel I want to actually send stuff to. 
but for some reason, my helper function for getting the channel is now returning a category and not why? Why is it doing this? I don't understand. Because this this function right here, oh, uh, hide my terminal, show my VS Code. There we go. Uh, this function right here, get channel. We are passing. We know we just did a printout of this, which we know is a number. So we go here. We do. It's not nan getting the channel identifier, the, the thing we passed in. So we would then be getting channel by ID where we cast that to a number. We do that. It's right here. We say, is our guild a guild? Yes. Then we do guilds, channels, cache, find, r, guild channel, where r, the id is equal to channel. I think that's the correct way to do it. What other options do I have for, oops, uh, for the id here? They like change what id means? Is ID not, what is parent ID? I feel like this is like an API change that I, I'm not aware of. I, I don't know, I really don't know what's going on here. All right, let's, let's take this from the top actually. What else can I do with channels? Channels dot. Okay, no, it is just cache. Okay. Uh, resolve ID? Resolvable string, guild channel, for channel. Returns a string, not what I want. I'm stumped, because the ID for this isn't even the ID I'm tr I'm like feeding it, so I don't know why it's matching on this at all. Let me I guess let me confirm that this is actually the method that it's using. If it's not, I don't know how it's finding the other thing then. But that's neither here nor there. Ooh, just died instantly. Again, I expected. Oh, uh, bad bad syntax. E. go send it hello and the bot perishes again but I can at least confirm but it is searching by ID here's the ID oh this is annoying we've got our guild object which is this whole giant thing until the next curly brace, our guild ID, and then our actual ID, which is what I thought I was selecting on. I have find where our ID is equal to channel. We know that channel is the number that we're passing in, and the ID property. do this is that because this is a, now a string if I can't I don't I don't think so. I I'm pretty sure that's fine in JavaScript I don't know I'm confused I didn't want this to be a two-hour stream but it might be uh, oh no Hello. oh my god I solved my problem I think. No. Wait. What the fuck? Okay, hold on, I'm confused. Wait, 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 hold on, I'm confused. I solved part of the problem. I got it to relay the message to this one, which it found by name. But... What's happening here? out. 
Now it found... Okay, by... By... Not ID, it found... The other one. Oh, shit. Okay, I didn't solve my problem. But I did make it... End gracefully. No, I didn't solve my problem. I lied. I made it, uh... Not error fatally, though. Which is not an acceptable solution here. So... I thought I needed to do... Uh... Like, it's saying here that the ID is a string now. I'm pretty sure it used to be a number. So I was able to just do number equals equals number. And it would be happy. But I think what's happening here is it's never finding a case where these two are the same. Or do I need to do triple equals in that case? I don't know shit about shit. Wait, hold on. Wait. This is also me not remembering. Bond, off the top of your head right now, go pop quiz. Triple equals, how does that differ from double equals in JavaScript? Save my soul, tell me. I need to know the answer. I was under the impression that triple equals is like memory reference location, but I don't think that's actually true. If you don't know the answer off the top of your head, that's fine. I'm putting it on the spot. Once again, didn't, didn't actually work. Uh, went to the JP channel, which is finding by name, but it's not able to find this one by ID anymore, which is a big fucking problem. Exact matching versus inferred matching. That's what I thought. Okay. So triple equals is in fact more specific. I'm so confused. I am so confused by this. We have our... We set this value to channel.id. So whatever we're getting from our channel is this. And then later, we say iterate through channels.cache find So why this is what's a guild channel manager? Guild channel. Uh, uh, why does this work? Returns a thread channel. Yeah, I mean I don't really understand any of this either. And to say I'm too smart for you is incorrect. I'm. I just have no sense of self-preservation. I just smash my head against the wall here until I get results. It's fun to watch, I have to say. I'm glad you think so. I can't imagine this is actually really entertaining to anybody who's not living inside my head, which is a population of one right now. But if, like, you're having fun, then I am must be doing something right. I don't know what that is, but thank you. Uh, thank you. I appreciate it. That makes me quite happy. I, uh, gosh, I don't know. I am stumped here. We're setting the thing to the channel ID, but when we do channel ID is equal, equal to the channel ID we're passing in, it's not finding a result. But why is this, like, why is this matching? Again, going back to the terminal here, it's saying that the ID of the thing that we're finding, oh, that's JP, that's different, that's a different one. I'm, actually, I'm so confused. And the worst part is I'm sure it's something really obvious in retrospect. I'm sure that if I like took two seconds to think about this, I would be able to figure it out. But I am getting in my own head. Different problems. Nope, it takes all kinds. 
so it's finding the JP channel. But only the JP channel. I don't understand. Something is horribly wrong here. I, I simply don't understand. Yes, code. Hide in terminal. So if I do dig again. I do output chat add en. Now I should be able to take my to this. Oh, uh, right, it wants me to specifically do a channel. Channel is general. Now I do C, big. Nothing seems to have changed. But if I type a message again in my, uh, my chat window here, Hello. It only goes through to this one, which is still being referenced by name and not by ID. So something is just really, really wrong here and I don't understand what it is. I still need to learn how to program as well so I can be of some help in times like this. Ah, I mean, I'm not streaming this because I am seeking advice from, from my viewers, though I mean, I won't say no to it. But don't feel like you're under any obligation to actually help me with my problems. Uh, and of course, primarily doing my own stuff and creating games. Now that's a good reason to learn programming, though. Not so much to, to help a wayward Twitch streamer, but to make your own mark on the world. To express yourself through art. That shit's the good stuff. I look forward to one day being able to stream a game that you have had your hand on. I think that would be very cool to do. We know that I I really have no idea. Um hmm. your printout. Oh, I did. Oh wait, no, channel's language is the ID. We do dot ID. This should just be the same line twice. But it's only gonna find it, it's only gonna work for JP, I think. Uh, show terminal. Hello. Say it's by ID. That's weird actually, that it's thinking it's get channel. Huh. That's bizarre. So I have my breakpoints, right? Where it says it's by ID. We uh, let me okay, wait, hold on. So we do our get channel. It's identifying that we're saying it's by ID rather than by name. Oh, I'll hug my terminal also. Uh or rather I should shrink my terminal. I can I can show it. We have, it says by ID, so we get it by ID. It returns a channel. Then we go back to our other printouts. This is JP. But the chat channel that it found based on JP is etc. etc. Then it goes to try and find the next one and it returns up blank. I think. Or no. That's not what's happening here at all. That's misleading. This is why I should be using a debugger and not just printing stuff out of the console like a bad programmer. I need to find a robust debugger that works for JavaScript here. I I don't have one on hand. That's not what's happening at all. It just looks like it. That's circumstantial evidence. What's actually happening is it's trying to find two of them by ID, one of them by name, 
and it's not finding anything. Look at the ones it's trying to find by ID. What the heck? I'm so... I'm... The mystery thickens, I guess, by name. The plot thickens. The mystery deepens. Not thickens. A mystery doesn't get thick. No. Okay. So, this is why I need the debug. <laughs> so I can actually just break point and have the code freeze where it actually is running instead of me trying to guess based on awful console printouts that I'll forget to remove. So now we go back to our terminal, and we, we die again. For some reason. And here is, here is the crux of why I am so confused. So it's once again, it's going by ID. It's trying to find by ID. The ID it's trying to match is this one. For some reason, the idea of the object it's getting back is not that. It is this 112 one. And I just don't understand why. I've now seen this a bunch of different ways. I don't get it. We're matching on blank. The ID is equal to the thing that we're passing in. We know that the ID is uh, the number ending in 14. I mean, thick mystery. Yeah, it honestly is. I'm getting clapped by it right now. I... I'm so confused. By ID plus... Channel. I don't understand how this can return back something with a different ID than the ID I'm giving it. It just doesn't make sense to me. The whole thing is matching on ID. Once again. Wait. What? Now I'm even more confused, actually. Wait, hold on. What the fuck number is this? What is this? I have no idea what number this is supposed to be. Is that the guild ID? That would be bad if true. <clears throat> by, it's saying it's matching by ID. And we're getting... Hold on. Something's fucky here. Get channel. Channel identifier. Cast it as a number. Otherwise, just uses. Oh, I'll have my terminal. Where is. The, okay, so yeah, where is this number coming from? Because that's not the number I was expecting. Uh... What is that number? I'm looking at my other options here. No other... What the hell? Yeah, no other... Items on the server have that ID. So now I really don't know... What that's a reference to. Why is this here also? What is 09? That's not code. Uh, all right, just got to keep adding more breakpoints. Console.log. Channel identifier. Run this shit again. This isn't even the problem I was trying to solve today, but I guess I'm glad I found it. Though I would find it eventually when I moved over my unit tests. isn't even the problem I wanted to solve. Oh, 
Okay, this has to be like string in interpolation or something. Something is wrong here for this this printout because what we're looking at is we have our channel ID. It says it's finding by ID, and it, the number is consistent on the before and after. Technically, we're trying to find who murdered. Yeah, basically. Uh, I, it's, but the, the problem is the answer is always me. The answer is always the detective. The detective is also always the uh, guilty party in this case. In what you're describing, it's me. I'm I'm the murderer. I wrote the bad code because uh, there are no other contributors on this project. Ah, all right. So the the flow here again is. We print out our channel identifier. It's the channel I'm expecting. It then says it's by ID, and it's printing this out. The thing we pass in <clears throat> is channel identifier, which we know what that is already. So if I remove this plus, I'm thinking it has to be some kind of weird interpolation oh, interpolation issue. I can think of no other explanation here. There's a uh, there's a meme I think about pretty frequently when it comes to stuff like this. There's a old uh, clip from the SpongeBob cartoon where I think it's uh, Black Manta or whatever the guy's name is, the Black Manta equivalent, the Manta Ray villain. He's talking to Patrick, right? And he's like, Patrick, is this your driver's license? The, the, the context here is they're trying to teach this guy to be nice. So they're teaching him to like return a stolen wallet or whatever. And he's like, okay, Patrick, this is your, your wallet, right? And he's like, no. He's like, but this is this driver's license inside of it has your name on it, yes? And he's like, yeah. And this is your photo, right? And he's like, yep, that's, that makes sense. And your address or whatever. I don't actually remember all the different steps. He's like, yep, that checks out. And she's like, so this must be your wallet. And he's like, no, not my wallet. And that's how I feel every time I run into a problem like this, where it's like, oh, so you have the ID for... We will see it again here. I'll show my terminal. Why is this yellow? What's happening? Huh? Never mind. Uh, I'm extra so super confused now. Because our, no our, our flow of numbers here is channel number we're expecting. Something completely different. I don't know where this number is coming from. Goes back to being the channel number, number we're expecting. And then we get back something completely different yeah so that, that's what i'm saying it's like okay this is your channel id right yep sounds good so then this must be the channel and it's like no i'll give you something else we are explicitly matching on id here and yet it's not wait hold on If I do Oh wait no, I don't want to do pluses here. Pluses is, is for actual addition. We're gonna use string interpolation. I need to see something with my own eyes here. Uh, and then it's gonna be sorry, it's dollar sign. That's formatting. Comma dollar sign number chat identifier. Something has changed. All I can think is something has changed with the API here. And I'm not smart enough to know what it is. Because I have refused to read documents. And or it's not well communicated to me. One of these two things. Probably my own fault though. Now I'm kind of determined to stream until I solve this problem though. Alright, show my terminal again. What the fuck? I don't understand this at all actually. Okay, so the thing I just had it print out is what's the channel identifier and then cast it as a number. And for some reason, the channel identifier I have, and when I cast it as a number, they're not the same. Hold on. Hold on. Is this like a magic number? Hold on. 
Did I, like, hit the upper limit of a long or something like that? I can't imagine I did, but, uh... We're gonna find out together. Is this number special? Uh... Hold on. We can actually test this faster by opening up a web browser, as weird as that sounds to say. Open up the console. Number... returns a number. This might be really small to read. Let me see, can I make this bigger? I can. You can just run JavaScript in your web browser, by the way. No, no, it didn't create the number by itself. There must be something weird going on. Uh, let me... Let me see what happens here. If you ever need to run JavaScript recreationally that's not, like, enterprise level, you can open up your browser and do this. It's great. Why? Why? Why is it doing this? Okay. I don't understand. I don't understand. Here's the problem. Well, this isn't necessarily the problem, but here's a part of it that makes no sense. I don't understand. When I try and cast this value as a number, number class number, it's like rounding the last two decimal places, or not decimal places, last two digits. Do I have to like, is there a thing I can specify here for not rounding? Uh, this is F12. Uh, that's a great question. Max safe integer. No. My number is smaller than this, I'm pretty sure. Good guess though. What happens if I try and cast that as a number? It likes that just fine. Hell, it'll even go higher than that. Seems to have no problem going higher than that. Wait. Oh, it is- wait. It is higher, you're right. You might not, it's, it's two decimal places higher. Shit. Okay. You need to cast as a string. You're not wrong. It is a big boy number. Okay, so, okay. Here's, here's my new revised theory as to what's happening, right? Okay. Okay, now it, it, it's beginning to make sense. The, the pieces in my brain are turning. I'm telling it to match on, on IDs, right? And the way I'm doing that, I will, uh, I will, I will explain right now what I think is happening. Uh, da, 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 da. Actually, I'm not quite sure, but what I think is happening is that the ID of the very first Ah, uh, no, I, I lost my I lost my grip on it. I was thinking if you had Okay, so the problem is basically I'm going to go back to my web browser. I have this I have this and it's matching the same as this. Which, as you can see, when you cast them to numbers, come up with the same thing. And in the order of channels that are in my server, if I go back to here, if you go from the top, the very first thing is this category, then the channel I want, and then some other channels. So if it's just iterating over everything that's considered a channel, this category will be matched first, assuming that we have the issue where, regardless of the actual last two digits, they come back with the same number. Now, what I don't know is why it's casting the ID that I'm not passing in as a number. But hold on, we can we can figure this out. I think all we need to do is that and not cast it as a number and we might be in the clear. Let's find out. Heaven or hell, let's fight, baby. Let's go. I 
I think we're good. I heard it make a, the alert noise like a bunch of times. Hey, there we go. Why did it send it twice? I don't know. It shouldn't send this to it. Oh, yes, it should. I understand. Uh, it works. That was the problem. Bon, you saved my bacon. You're a big brain genius. My number is higher than the maximum integer. And so it was matching uh, regardless of the last two digits. And that was the only thing distinguishing the correct channel from the incorrect channel were those last two digits because things are sequential. Yes, it worked. Uh, and it sent it here twice because I registered two different translation channels for this, uh, or two trip different languages for the single channel. So the way the bot works is it's like, okay, uh, I saw the streamer type the message in the chat. I will now relay this individually to every channel that I've got registered as an independent language. So your, you know, your Japanese channel and your English channel both get the messages from the streamer. But when a user live translates, you'll only get messages from that designated language. But because I res res uh, registered general here as both the English and uh, Espanol channel, it is getting the message twice. Because it's saying, I'll send it here because this is the English channel, and I'll send it here because it's the Spanish channel. So this isn't a bug. It's weird behavior. Uh, but I'll, I'll unregister Spanish now that I know it works. Cool. That was very painful to think about. Uh, you absolutely saved the day. Now I can actually test the thing I wanted to test, which is if I send this message, which is slash 13, what happens? Oh, awesome. It works. It works. It relays instead of uh, the message that I typed looks like this. And it relays that and replaces it with the emoji that we specified. So this part still works where it types that. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Now if I do emote remove 13, it'll thumbs that up. And I'm going to send 13 again in the chat. And it's going to do, I don't know what this emoji is. Yes. It works. All right, cool. So our emote command is all set. Wow, that took a lot longer than expected, but we learned, I think, some really crucial information about how Discord is handling these numbers behind the scenes. And I'm curious how I have to make that change in any other places where I'm trying to pass something and cast as a number, and it really shouldn't be under any circumstances cast as a number. I don't know. Bon, you, uh, you win my eternal gratitude. Not that you didn't already have it. That rules. Okay. That, that was a lot. That's not even stuff I was thinking about trying to address. But it's addressed here. I remo need to remove all these printouts that I added because we don't need them here anymore. Console. By name. Yeah, get this shit out of here. This is why I need a debugger because I don't like littering my code with these temporary printouts they're bad they i forget to remove them later they're not good okay so the emote command works wow an hour and a half in right uh and i only got the one command working but i learned something crucially i crucially learned something it's important and we still haven't even gotten to like the actual meat and potatoes of this bot but that's okay so this works now i will uh kill this bot I will run it one more time just to make sure that everything still functions. I heard it do the alert three times, twice in here, once in oop, uh, once in the JP channel, ping, twice in here because it's registered as two languages. So that still works, cool. And I will now get at. Uh, Status, wrong slash commands, get commit, and added emote, or I guess converted emote command, resolved. ID search, uh, fixed, I guess. Got both of these done today. Awesome, 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 awesome. I cannot wait to write unit. I want to write unit tests for these so badly, but I just don't have the time. I will definitely do it before I push this 
to the like the main production branch though. For sure, for sure, for sure. I can never publish this bot to like the 1200 user server that it's being used on without really being sure that it all works. But for the sake of ending a stream, anecdotally this seems to be good. One day I will do the big stream where I, I do all of my unit tests and I can talk about why unit tests are so important. That'll be a fun stream. That's not today. That'll be once I have all my commands all lined up and I can remove all the previous commands. I can write my unit tests. That'll be fun. Uh, anyway, for the time being, git push. It's going to run my unit tests and not test any of my new code. And you can see here how bad my code coverage is because I've added so much new code that is not tested. That's okay. We will get to it eventually. Look at this miserable coverage. All of these new slash commands I've added with a 0% code coverage really drags down the average. We're at 57% of all the code in here. Yeah, I mean, this used to be like high 70s, but now that I've basically duplicated my entire code base, except only half of it's being tested, we've, uh, we've lost some coverage. All these other commands, generally speaking, well tested. You can see they're all in the green, like 80s, 90s for their coverage. But the new stuff, not yet. I got a right test for them. But that is for another day. Whew, it is now 11.30. Halloween is in a half hour. I'm going to go to sleep, I guess. And I need to see if there's anybody who I can raid. Probably not, because it's super freaking late. Who's even around? Anybody up? Oh, actually, there is. Uh, for some reason, my friend Nana is playing Valorant, which is a game that's very modern and very uh, action Twitch oriented, not twitch.tv, but like Twitch reflexes. I'm very bad at it and it, uh, I'll never be good at it. I don't want to be good at it, but that's fine. You can appreciate somebody who's much better than me, be good at video games. So with that, I'm going to do raid. And let me see if I can remember how to spell Nana's name, Nana. At Z I L Y A. So yeah, season of on Everblue. Thank you. Uh, I hope to see you there as well. I again do not know what time I will be able to stream Everblue, but I will make it happen. No matter how late I need to stay up for it, I'm really eager to play more of that game. It's fun. I'm happy that I'm like getting way further in the game than I ever have before. I am genuinely, truly enjoying the experience, and it's also like the first. PS2 let's play that I've done that's not like deeply scuffed. I've done Ape Escape 2 where I was looking back at the recordings and some of them just don't have audio recorded for some reason so I don't think I can ever upload those to YouTube and then I tried to do Dark Cloud and that game is kind of a slog it's not super fun to watch and I just never had the time to consistently play it week after week so we never made much progress but Everblue we're actually making good progress the stream is recording as I expect it feels like a well-produced stream I am able to talk to people and have like a good conversation with my chat, which is very enjoyable. I'm not just talking at a wall, which is very good, though, you know, talking at a wall is fine sometimes. So I'm very happy with Everblue. I'm eager to play more. You people are making it fun for me to, to play and to push myself to do stuff that would normally make me very afraid. It's great. So uh, summary, I am in, I'm enjoying it. Halloween will be a fun time to go fight some more sharks. With that said, I'm going to send you off to Nana now. Uh, Nana, Nana. Wish them a good evening, happy Halloween, etc., etc. And with that, I wish you all bonus era. Um, and I will see you tomorrow.